Hi, welcome to another edition of Advanced PowerPoint Tutorial Series from PresentationProcess.com. Today you are going to learn how to create glossy ball in PowerPoint. The glossy ball you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? Let us learn how to create this graphic from scratch by going to a new slide. Go to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes find Oval Tool. Click on that one and draw a circle while holding the shift tab. This ensures that your circle is perfect. Then go to shape outline and choose no outline. The next step is to right click on the circle, go to format shape and we are going to use gradient fill. Click on the gradient fill and if you see in gradient stops that there are four stops we don't want those many stops, so click on stop 4, remove, click on stop 3, remove, now we are left only with two stops. That suits us well. The next thing is, we are going to use stop 1 at 0 position and we will choose a color which is a very light shade. Let us take this one which seems to be dark blue, lighter 80%, so click on that one, perfect. We go to stop 2 and move the start position to around 70%. This ensures that both the shades of the gradient fill blend quite nicely. Let us choose the color to be the darkest variant of whatever color that you had chosen earlier. Let us choose this dark blue color for the fill. Now the next step is to change the way the gradient fill is made. So we are going to change the type of gradient fill to radial instead of linear. Now it automatically starts giving us the feel of a 3D fill. We will make it even better by choosing the direction of the fill. So click on that one and click on from center option. Now that looks like a beautiful 3D ball. Now we have finished the first stage of creating the diagram. Now we will take this graphic to a whole new level by adding a beautiful sheen on top of the ball. For that let's go to auto shapes once again. Go to basic shapes and click on the oval tool. And draw a circle which is around say 60% the size of the earlier circle while holding the shift tab. Remove outline as always and then position this just below the top edge of the previous circle because that is where our sheen is going to be. Right click on this shape, go to format shape and again we are going to fill gradient fill. So go there and as you could see it takes on the same gradient fill as we used earlier. The good thing about this is we are going to have just two stops for our gradient fill which is what we want. However, we don't want the type of gradient fill to be radial, we will go back to linear and the direction of the fill should be linear down. So that's wonderful. Then it's time to fill the gradient. So go to stop 1, the position is 0%, perfect. Color we want white. The next step is to go to stop 2. This time we don't want the stop position to be around 70%, we'll increase it to say 80%. We're going to increase the transparency to 100%. Now that is a beautiful gloss. So close this one. Now you can add a touch of perfection by tapping the gloss to its right position. Now if you were to add a nice shadow to the shape, you will get this wonderful glossy ball. There are tremendous number of uses for glossy ball in business graphics. I am going to show you some examples taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable PowerPoint charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. The CEO packs are extremely useful for anyone who wants to make professional presentations fast. 
Let us see some applications of glossy bar in professional business graphics taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs. In this circular timeline, we used glossy balls to mark the various events. In this diagram template about stepwise progression, we used glossy balls to indicate before and after positions. In this roadmap diagram template, we used glossy balls to indicate various key milestones along the roadmap. You can observe that the sizes of the glossy balls vary as the distance increases from the foreground. Of course, we ensured that the text size corresponds to the size of the glossy ball. The next template is a variation of roadmap. Here again, we used glossy balls of different sizes to indicate distance. This diagram template uses the metaphor of scales to evaluate options. We used glossy balls to signify positive and negative factors that influence a decision. Good graphics and diagrams not only help you visualize your business ideas better, but also leave a lasting impression on your audience. Good quality slides convey a positive brand image. However, not all business presenters have the time to invest in creating professional graphics for themselves. That is why we came up with our PowerPoint charts and diagram templates packs for CEOs and business users. Just choose the template that matches your idea, replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional presentations has never been easier. Why waste time creating your graphics and diagrams from scratch when you can invest the same time in creating much stronger content? Hope you liked our tutorial on creating glossy ball in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials and to browse through our templates packages, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. You can also follow the link below this video. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.